Hello, my name is Mira Jill. You can call me Jill. I'm your virtual guide in Angola City, Philippines. Well, um, honestly, a lot of videos or blogs about my city are either too clean or too dirty. Of course, both of those things are fact, but it didn't catch the essence of my city. So I decided to make this video blog not only just once but a couple of times. So here I will share about my city, Angela City, its history, its culture, how things go, um, about business, about hotels, my top 10 hotels, my worst hotels and best hotels, my top 10 restaurants, my top 10 bars, my top 10 drinks drinks <laughs> yeah and also Filipina girls yes I am a Filipina but I don't wanna say that I'm I don't wanna you know classify myself as a better person it depends on you and how you would see me but right now I want you to treat me nothing but a virtual guide no more no less so there's a limitation with that. I cannot hook you up with someone you can't hook up with me or nothing. Anyway, um, I won't. I might not be able to show many things about my city because, first of all, I don't want to get caught. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Um, but I'm gonna talk about it a lot, so it's better if you guys subscribe and watch my videos over time to learn about more about my city. I'll try to upload twice a day, see what topic comes up. But right now, aside from introducing myself as your virtual girl for Angola City, self-proclaimed right there, um, I'm going to tell you about the history of Angola City. Many people who come to Angola City City, no Angeles City, just a place for the ex air base, US air base, or of course the bars, the casinos, and all. I'll talk about that later. So, um, everything has a history. For me, as a Filipina who was born in, who's born in, you know, Angeles City. I could say that Angola City could be the best city in the Philippines. Of course, everybody has their own preference, but for me it is. Right now, uh, it houses thousands of people. It gives jobs to thousands of people. And it gives investment opportunities for foreigners and both Filipinos as well. Although, yeah, I know some under the table things. We'll talk about that later. So the history of Angola City began with Pantaleon de Miranda. Actually, it's a bloodline of Nepomuceno. Uh, they created Angola City. It was just a small community with a small church during the Spanish era. And it was named, uh, oh, you know, um, it was named after uh, an angel. That's why it's Angola. So the, it was our patron saint. Um, Angeles City um, has grown, has developed into, you know, a very good city nowadays. And like when I was young, it was a little bit chaotic. But over time, being under the Spanish era, Angeles City was like every city in the Philippines. Only rich people go to school. Actually, until now. But uh, most people, they just you know they live like how people live in the Spanish era everything changed when the Americans came and built their the US Air Base US Air Base is actually it was called Fort Stotzenberg so if you go inside Clark you're gonna see a statue of Mr. Stotzenberg he chose Angola City because of the difference with the land area as you know, um, if you guys will go to San Fernando or Mabalacat, you would notice, and, and I guess you heard, that when the volcano erupted, we have Lahar. Lahar is, you know, the mixed water, 
um, and then sand from the volcano and then it flowed in the river and covered many houses. Many people died that time, but Angola City was safe. Religious people said it was a miracle, but for me it's geography. So just like any other Americans who came to the Philippines who have chosen Baguio City and Angola City, the land is a little bit higher than San Fernando or Mabalacan. So if you are planning to invest something or you're planning to build a house, I would suggest around Angola City because it's a little, yeah, not a little bit, but I'm quite sure it's safe from flood because the water from Angola City goes down at either at Mabalacan or San Fernando. So if your house is around San Fernando and Mabalacat, the water from Angola City goes down there. Then your house will be flooded. I had a classmate before, his house was flooded and then it was they had to live at the second floor. He was from San Fernando. And then um, during the American days, uh, many people benefited from Angola City, not only the House girls, we call them house girls, which are actually maids. Also, my grandfather, he used to sew um, tailor American uniforms for the Americans. His yeah, his shop was called Mac Taylor, Mac Taylor Shop. If any people Americans who remembers that, please let me know. Because I miss my grandpa, by the way, he already died. Anyway, um, now it's all machines, but during that time it was handmade. So I would say Americans did a lot of great things to the Philippines, aside from giving them hyg proper hygiene, teaching them about nutrition, and giving them education, which is free. And like the Spanish era, you have to be so rich to go to school. Uh, it also gave a little bit, you know, distinct, it gave a distinguish, it distinguished Angola City different from other cities. First of all, uh, the English, it's, English is really easier to use in Angola City, most people can speak it. And then, aside from that, after the Lahar, when Americans left, people were, all went down. So for Americans wondering what happened to Angola City after that, people lost a lot of jobs. And many of those Filipinos went to other countries to support their families because the jobs given by Americans that time was taken after they left, including my grandpa. So it caused a lot of, you know, families separated, problems like that, but let's not talk about that. Uh, Angola City, after... Um, Americans left the Lahar, the volcano and all, it tried to grow up um, with the help of investments from other countries and foreigners such as Amer um When I was in elementary school, I'm 26 now, uh, the Americans are still investing a lot in Angola City on horse bars uh, like Blue Nile, but now it has another name, Narrows, like that. Uh, but now I think it's a club, right? High society. So during those days, there are many Americans investing in Angola City. Um, during those days, there are a lot of people interested investing, but I still thank the Americans investing in Angola City because of that. And when uh, SM decided to build an SM shop in Angola City, they had an agreement with our president that if they will build SM, um, the president and the mayor would agree if they would fix the you know the places around Angola City. If anybody has been in Angola City before, it was uh, the bars are good, but the other side is like these small karaoke bars, and then they were like you know squatters area, like just wood put together and then they put a karaoke and sing but now it's concrete and you have to rent I'll tell you about their business next time so uh,
Mm, I'm not saying it's about it. And after that, um, America established more businesses and then uh, SM made the business, fixed the roads, fixed the park, and put jeepneys into places. Uh, and the cost of living also got higher. Believe me, I'm a Filipina, but when I take the tricycle driver, I pay like you guys. I pay 100 pesos, 70 pesos, never lower than 50. Imagine my sister from 7-Eleven Fields, you know the one near near Manson Drugs to SM Supermarket? She paid 70 pesos. Really? It was. If I were there, I could have shouted at that driver. Seriously, that was bullshit in my sorry that was really awful think about it she's very young i mean she's only a high school student to pay that right anyway um that's just a little bit story about angola city on how it developed and then after that europeans invested one of the biggest investors are the Heinens. they usually buy a land and then build a hotel and then rent it to other people and they are the owners of abc and the other hotel near mcdonald's um their places are good it would be it's included actually in my top 10 hotels um aside from that Aside from our history, I would also like to talk about the cost of living. Angola City is an expensive place to live if you live at the at Balibago itself. Um, when it comes to safe, when it comes to price, you can go, you guys can find cheap hotels. I know a dormitory which offers low price but good amenities and facilities, and it's quite close there to Angola to the walking street, and then. That you can also rent a hotel which is a little bit far. You need a tricycle or a car to drive by, which is about twenty to you know twenty thousand eight thousand pesos to twenty thousand pesos. And then um if it's a little bit further, you can get about five thousand to six thousand peso apartment. Now, if you guys wanted to about the cost of you know eating like that, it depends on how you eat. People can buy at a public market which we call Pampang. You can buy raw foods and then ask someone to cook it for you. Or you can go out every day. Um, restaurants in Angola City, uh, they offer Western foods and Western size, usually from 150 pesos and above. But uh, there's one shop that I could recommend, um, aside from Bunny Burger. Well, most shops are 150 to 300. The, you guys, of course, you guys know, know Skytracks. At the side, the left side, you just have to turn a little bit. They have a small shop. They sell foods like tapsilo, you know, fried chicken like that. Sixty pesos, it will have you will have rice, egg, and a chicken, or rice, egg, and a sausage like that. And the taste is good. You can also order cooked food. Just they just cook it right there and then. So it's really cheap and it's really good. And then. About the tricycle driver, okay guys, um, for tricycle drivers, many foreigners, they just try to contract a tricycle driver, especially if they're staying long. They can contract like, okay, you pick me up and drop me off, I'll pay you like 70 pesos instead of 100 pesos every trip. That I'll call you back if I need you like that. But usually they would charge you 100. And then if it goes a little bit further, it's going to be 150. It's true, right? So it would be better if you contract, or I could give you, yeah, there are some taxis that offers 150 around Angola City. It's quite safe. Maybe I could talk about that next time. And then, as for the girls, okay, um, mm -hmm, bars. <laughs> for the bars, uh, it depends which bar you're going to. Um, long time ago, when I, when I tried to distinguish the bars, I would just say, like, well, all the bars are for Western or Japanese. Um, only the two distinguish, right? The Japanese is the pink lady and pink lady <laughs> and pink lady. Yeah. And then uh, afterwards, the bars at Fields Avenue are usually for Western people. But nowadays, I can distinguish three parts more foreigners are coming to angeles city 
um, I'm very happy that more investments are coming, but at the same time, I'm sad because more corruption is coming as well. But I don't, I'll talk about that next time. So those three distinguishes of the bars, um, the Korean bars, the American bars, which are for actually Western bars, and of course the Japanese, yeah, Japanese Korean bars are the same, and also just the drinking bars, and the secret bars, the karaoke bars for bar girls. Mm. You didn't know that, did you? Okay, I'm gonna talk about that next time. Um, actually, after this video, I would be talking about that again. I'm Jill, your virtual guide in English. See, I hope you guys had some ideas with, you know what I'm talking about and if I'm a little bit you know babbling I'm sorry about that because honestly this is my first video but I assure you that on my next video which is about Angeles tea bars I would give you detailed information about them I won't have any pictures but I've been in there some of them and I would tell you what I can say about them the papa san the mama san and how it goes how the business goes inside and the prices of drinks and foods um, as just estimated ones and some that I saw, I would tell you which one I saw. And yeah, anyway, um, on my next video, you can expect the prices in bars, hotels, and the types of bars, the one that I was talking about. And of course, how to get to Angola City. So yeah, um, for the foreigners who are coming to Angola City, thank you guys for coming. Um, I know many Filipinos might hate me because I'm thanking you guys because you know it's a Catholic country but you because of you guys many investments came and such things so thank you so wait yeah just check out my other video it's just right after this I just have to you know fix it up thank you bye